Bob Saget's family members and friends in Hollywood gathered this week to pay tribute to the late actor-comedian at Los Angeles The Comedy Store. Saget's wife, Kelly Rizzo, and his daughters were joined by a bevy of his celebrity pals including John Stamos, Jeff Ross, John Mayer, Jim Carrey, and Chris Rock, for a loosely structured evening full of laughter on Sunday, Stamos publicist Matt Pope confirmed in an email to Fox News Digital. Saget, a comedic giant also known for his longtime TV roles as Full House patriarch Danny Tanner and the former host of America's Funniest Home Videos, died suddenly last month. After shedding tears and sharing sincere remembrances of their family member, friend, philanthropist and funny man Bob Saget at his funeral two weeks ago, it was time for those who loved him most to give him the send-off he would have truly loved, Pope said. Since Bob left this world mid-joke on a comedy tour, it only felt right to honor his memory in a place where the lights are. The night included performances by Carey, Rock, Mayer, Darren Criss, Jackson Brown, Michael Keaton, John Lovitz, Seth Green, Mike Young, Paul Rodriguez, and Byron Allen, who brought diverse voices unified in the love of one amazing man who inspired them all, Pope said. Stamos and Mayer formed an impromptu house band alongside other comics. The sold-out farewell concert benefited the Scleroderma Research Foundation, a cause near and dear to Saget. His sister Gay died of the disease. Everyone in the room knew that she and Bob were finally together again, watching the festivities from box seats high above them all. The evening ended with a raucous audience sing-along led by Bob's wife, Kelly Saget, and his daughters Aubrey and Lara. The ode, in homage to Bob's salty sense of humor, was My Dog Licked My Balls, Polk said. To quote Saget's songwriting, my dog licked my balls. I miss him so much because my dog licked my balls. While the group cannot vouch for his dog, everyone agreed that they miss Bob so, so very much, Polk added. Saget's family members and friends in the industry have been sharing heartfelt memories about the actor on social media in the weeks following his untimely passing. Last week, Rizzo, 42, shared to Instagram a new image of her incredible husband and delivered a message to her followers that the world will never be the same. In the snap, the journalist and the late Full House star are seen enjoying each other's time shaded by a cabana toasting with drinks in hand. Saget was found deceased in a Ritz-Carlton Orlando hotel room on January 9, after gracing the stage in front of a sold-out crowd in Jacksonville, Florida, just the night before. Rizzo spoke out in a Today interview on Thursday and shed light on the type of man Saget was when the cameras weren't around. It was still the same. He was there to just enjoy life. And he just wanted to make people feel good, Rizzo explained. I mean if we went to a restaurant, he would talk to all of the waiters, the waitresses. He knew all the hosts. Everybody knew him and loved him. And his constant message was just treat everybody with kindness because he had gone through so much in his life and he knew how hard life could be. Rizzo continued, and so he always was just so kind and loving to everybody, she continued. He was just the best man I've ever known in my life. He was just so kind and so wonderful, and everybody that was in his life knew it. And even anybody that would just casually meet him was like, wow, this is a special guy. During Rizzo's interview, she also detailed the final conversation she had with Saget. He put it all out there. He told everyone that he loved, and quite frankly, anyone that he met and spent any time with at all, he told them that he loved them endlessly and tirelessly, Rizzo said. That was his entire message. 
If you knew Bob and he loved you, you knew it. There was never any doubt in your mind. Saget was laid to rest during a private funeral on Friday, January 14. The comedian was buried in Los Angeles surrounded by family and friends.